Hey everyone, in the news this week. It's been four years since the fire at Notre Dame Cathedral and the police still don't know who started it, although they've got a hunch. An Arnold Schwarzenegger posted a video of him filling in potholes. And that's fairly physically demanding work and at his age I imagine it afterwards he would have said, ah, me back. And of course there's been more revelations about the SNP in the seized camper van. This is the 100 grand motorhome seized from Peter Murrow's mother. The SNP claim that they purchased it to use as a battle bus and that she was just looking after it for a bit. It's pretty much the same excuse as that running joke in Father Ted where he has to repeatedly claim that the stolen money was just resting in his account. Typically when I think of Scottish people with criminal records it would be Sheena Easton or maybe Lulu with that Eurovision song. But now it turns out that the auditors have quit, the SNP can't get their accounts signed off, and there's a fairly solid chance that the party won't be able to claim any short money funding from Westminster next year. Certainly if the wheels are on the motorhome, they've long since come off the party. And all while Hamza Yousaf watches on, and it's a good indication of how useless he is that he was almost certainly aware of what was going on with the stolen money, and yet he still thought he'd quite like to be leader of the party when it all went south. Supposedly tens of thousands of party members have quit in the last couple of weeks, and Alex Salmond is probably laughing harder than that time he got to go backstage and meet Billy Connolly. The next domino to fall for the SNP is almost certainly going to be the transgender woke policies. And as a sign for things to come, it's worthwhile looking at America. This last week saw the brewer Anheuser-Busch lose $6 billion after a consumer backlash against its new marketing campaign that saw cans of Bud Light featuring Dylan Mulvaney, a transgender activist. This is a blue-collar beer popular at barbecues and football games, being fronted by a young man who spent the last two years identifying as a girl and making TikTok videos about it. The only possible similarity between these two brands is that Bud Light is dishwater that self-identifies identifies as a premium lager. Anyway, the company saw beer sales collapse after a consumer boycott combined with people just not wanting to be seen with rainbow branded cans that make them a participant willing or otherwise in that particular culture war. A lot of people just want a beer, not politics. In response, the company put out a statement about how the marketing manager who launched the campaign just wanted the company to be inclusive. The truth is that they likely just did it for bragging rights amongst their liberal social circle with no comprehension of how wildly unpopular the campaign would be with normal people. Which brings things just about full circle with the SMP. Anyway, see you next week. Like these, click subscribe.